Hey guys, let's talk about can you even edit your grammar and your spelling within Scrivener? That's a common question lots of people have. I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about the different kind of add-ons and other software you can possibly use along with Scrivener to edit your grammar and your spelling. So let's just take a look at that over the next couple minutes. And I want to do a tutorial using a free download trial of Scrivener. So this is a short story manuscript that is just part of the free trial of Scrivener. And I want to show you a couple different options for how you might go about editing your grammar and your spelling right there within Scrivener. You actually have several options. One thing that you can do is that you can go up to edit right there at the top of the navigational bar. There's edit and you can scroll down to spelling. Click that and you'll, uh, you'll set off the automatic spell check and grammar check within Scrivener. So that's an easy way to do it, but it's not the only way to do it. What you can also do is you can take any part of your manuscript that you're working with. You can select um, a paragraph or a section of the, of the document that you're working with, whether it's a short story, a research paper, a blog or article, whatever it is you're writing, you can actually just select a portion of it like that, right click on your mouse, scroll down to spelling, start the spell check and the grammar check right there um, in that way as well. So those are two pretty simple options, I think, within Scrivener to do basic spell check. You can also highlight the whole document on Windows, that's Control A, highlight it, and then you just saw that you can also initiate spell check that way. There's also ways that you can automatically set up spell check and grammar check as you type to both check the grammar and the correct the grammar through the options. Um, go, to, go to File, and you go down to Options, and you can set that up automatically. Now, within, within Scrivener, you can also select words, sentences, paragraphs, and even similar formatting. So you can select different pieces and parts of your manuscript to also spell check and grammar check. So I think that's pretty cool. Other things that you can do is you can actually remove spaces, multiple spaces, and take it down to one space, multiple lines, take it down to one line. You can do that automatically within your document. You can also search Google, search Wikipedia. You can look up dictionary definitions, thesaurus, synonyms. You can look up quotes. And you can also even, if you're a writer that writes short stories or novels, you can use the name generator. You can come up with names that are based on gender, based on cultural backgrounds, where somebody's from. And you can also try to get alliteration a part of the name generation. So those are some pretty neat, some pretty cool tools you can use right there within Scrivener. But what you can also do is you can go to other apps outside of Scrivener like Grammarly. Grammarly is a free grammar checker. It's got a free and paid version. We're in my account, which is free. And although Grammarly doesn't sync directly to Scrivener, there is a workaround so that you can do this for free. What you would do is you would highlight your manuscript and then you would copy it, then you go back into Grammarly, paste that part of your document or the whole document into Grammarly, and then you let Grammarly work its magic showing you the spelling and grammar errors or suggestions. If you have a very long document, you might have to split this up into your document up into smaller parts to be able to fit into the free version of Grammarly. If you use the paid version, you can use you can usually insert a longer document. You can also do this with the Hemingway app and with Pro Writing Aid. Pro Writing Aid is another grammar spell check app. It has a free Chrome extension and there's a free and paid version. The paid version, I think, yeah, it's about $20 per month. So it's not necessarily cheap, but if you edit a lot of, if you do a lot of writing and you need to do a lot of editing, it might be worth it for you. Now, keep in mind, if you use the premium version of Pro Writing Aid, that does sync with Scrivener. So here's how that might work for you. You can go into Scrivener, highlight your document, write your document. When, once you're done writing the document, you close that down in Scrivener and you move over to Pro Writing Aid, open up that document in Pro Writing Aid, edit it, save that editing, close down the document in Pro Writing Aid, and then move back over to Scrivener. 
and you can open that document again, once again in Scrivener, and all of the changes that you made should follow. So that's how you can use Pro Writing Aid and integrate it within Scrivener. It does take a couple steps. You can also do this completely for free by simply copying your document in Scrivener and then pasting that document into Word, Google Documents, or the free version of Pro Writing Aid or Grammarly. So you can do this for free. It takes a couple steps. You can do this with the paid premium version of Pro Writing Aid as well. So you have several different options. Okay, let's talk about some other features of Scrivener and maybe how you can use Scrivener to check your grammar and your editing, your spell check. Those are some of the main options, but I wanna show you all the different ways that you can work with Scrivener because I think it's important. Now, I'm also writing an article about this on my blog post, and I wanted to share a couple add-ons that aren't that don't necessarily sync directly with Scrivener, but you can use them. We've talked about Grammarly, we've talked about Pro Writing Aid and Hemingway Editor, but there's also different things, different add-ons if you're working with research, and if you're also working with the French language, Antidote might work. If you're needing to convert your document to different formats, that Pandoc might really work well for you. Now, all of these add-ons don't integrate directly into Scrivener like Pro Writing Aid, but they are applications that you can use once you're finished with your content in Scrivener. You can use these other add-ons to work with your research, your citations, with different languages, and with converting your documents, and also to do some spelling and grammar check. So those are add-ons that other people, other users of Scrivener have said that they have been happy with, and I wanted to share those with you. But the, in summary, yes, you can definitely edit your grammar and spelling within Scrivener, but using some other outside apps can really help. If you have gotten anything out of this video, please like it, please subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you even use Scrivener. By the way, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you at the next.